What's up to my friends on YouTube and welcome back to another tutorial video. Today I will be covering how to disable or enable sensitive content onto your Twitter feed. Now hopefully you didn't find out the hard way, but Twitter is pretty lax when it comes to the type of content that is displayed on their platform. As far as different videos and graphic contents that you could see throughout Twitter, you might just want to be able to disable that or at least have a warning pop up so you can just skip past content that you aren't looking to see. Luckily, it made it super easy to do this and disable it, and they are also pretty vigilant about covering content that is sensitive and getting right on top of that right away. So I've just launched into my Twitter app right here, and whether you're on the home screen or your notifications tab, you're just going to go ahead and hit your profile picture in the upper left-hand corner there. And then from here, it's going to bring up this menu, and you can just scroll all the way towards the bottom where you'll eventually find an option to go into the settings. The second one from the bottom there, settings and privacy, that's what it's called. You could go into there. And once you are in the tab with all the settings, the fifth option down or so is going to be the tab for privacy and safety. You're going to go ahead and head into there. And then once you are in privacy and safety, the second option down there titled your tweets with the little pencil icon next to it, you could click on that option there. And then once you're in here, it's pretty straightforward from there as there's literally only one option in here, marking media that you on your tweet that is containing sensitive material. Just go ahead and hit that lever. And then from there on, it's going to give you a warning whenever you come across sensitive content on any sort of your tweets. And then from there, of course, you could justify it yourself. It's not completely removing this content, but you could justify whether you want to reveal it as the image or graphic content is going to be blurred when you're scrolling past. That's pretty much all there is to it though. If you did have any questions or were confused at all on how this works, comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Other than that, if you found this helpful today, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.